little fifth graders in social studies, we're going to be talking about trade and voluntary exchange, and we're also going to be talking about price incentives. So first, let's talk about trade. Trade is the exchange of goods between countries. Trade promotes economic activity in each country involved. Trade promoting economic activity. When trade happens between countries, more jobs are created. More money is within the economy. More goods are available and also prices decrease. So trade is obviously good for all countries of the world. Here's an historical example. The Panama Canal increased trade between countries. Before the Panama Canal was built, traders from Europe that traveled by sea had to go down the coast of South America and around the southernmost tip of the North American continent in order to get to places on the west coast of North and South America. Once the Panama Canal was in place, the traders could simply go straight through without having to go down and around the whole continent. This shortcut also saved travelers about three months on ship voyages. So the Panama Canal increased trade by making trade happen faster. There is a ship right there sending goods, trading goods to another country. Voluntary exchange. Voluntary exchange is trading or selling goods or services freely based on the price that you want. Voluntary exchange allows people the choice to buy and sell at any price they choose. Profits are able to be made. Profits are the amount of money you make after expenses. Non-voluntary exchange causes problems. Sellers are forced to sell goods for a cheap price and they can't make a profit. This will cause lots of problems for the economy. So voluntary exchange is when a nation is allowed and business owners in that nation are allowed to come up with their own price for goods and services. Okay, and you don't want the price to be too high because no one can afford it. And you don't want it to be too low because you wouldn't make any money. So the business owner is left with the decision on what the price will be. Non-voluntary exchange is when the government decides what the price is going to be for things. And a lot of times, most of the time, almost 100% of the time, that just causes problems. Because the price is either too high or it's too low. Uh, when it's too high, no one can afford it. So nobody buys it. When it's too low, people can afford it, but then the business owner doesn't make any money. Uh, so a good balance is what is needed. Last but not least. Ooh. Have a nice day. All right, let's talk about price incentives. Price is the amount of money exchanged for goods or services. Basically, price is just how much something costs. The interaction of supply and demand determines the price of goods and services. If there are not many Ford trucks and the demand is high, the price for a Ford truck will be high. If there are plenty of Ford trucks and not many people want them, the price will be lower. That is supply 
and demand. Price incentives are used to affect people's choices and behavior, or people's behavior and choices. They are benefits given to get people to take certain actions. For example, buy one, get one free. Or any kind of discount, any kind of coupon, or anything that reduces the cost of an item. So price incentives. They try to affect people's behavior and choices by getting you to buy something. During the turn of the century, the demand for beef was high. This raised the cost of beef. Driving cattle on the cattle trails was very hard work and hot dry locations. Many people were willing to participate in driving uh, or in cattle drives because of the money that they could get for selling cattle. Question. Can you think of something you or your family bought recently because of a price incentive? Think of a sale or a coupon or some kind of discount. Answer that question in your mind. Last but not least. Ooh. Have a nice day.